What's going on guys, Loco here and welcome to episode 23 of Loco Legends. And uh, we start off this game by playing an all, bra or this episode by playing an all Brazilian team. And uh, this was a fairly even game, but uh, unfortunately I didn't have the abilities to score in this game. So uh, instead I decided to give him the ball in my defense and then Alex put a pretty nice goal in. But still it was a, again a mistake for me in my defense, which I do not enjoy too much. And then, yeah, here he showed some great skills. He was one of those kids who, who likes to just hold in the L2 button. And then my defense is not awake. And uh, Renata goes to put in for the 2-0, which was the end of the game. Um, nothing really big chances in both ends. This was kind of what was it in the game. And he hit me on the counter in the end. But, um, yeah, start off the episode with a loss. It's always... Uh, it's not good, but whatever. Then we went in against this dude who has an all premiership side and uh, as you can see he has some uh, familiar faces and some of the players are not really in the right position so it's just one of these games which I expected to win because people who don't have all the right players in the right positions are usually not the best of players but um, yeah start up with a I should think I should start using the same 5000 rebound because that would just make sense because that was that's widely known around the the YouTube scene now, so uh, I think I will go with that. But um, yeah, then Balotelli got through and uh, shows again. He's a great goal scorer in the game. And again, a highly recommended player to get if you want to do a premiership side. You can get him very cheap and uh, he can do stuff like this, which is a very lovely goal. He totally gets through off the defender and puts a night, nice, nice... nice uh, um... I don't remember what that called. Precision thingy, blah 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 blah. Holding the R1, the RB button to <laughs> get it in. I don't remember, whatever. But uh, a very nice finish you made there. And then I got this, another Sam 5000 rebound by Eschen. It's a little scrappy goal, but I will again take it. And uh, yeah, then I went in here <laughs> and I tried to do something funny and. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not that good at tricks, but uh, sometimes I do them. I I know usually how to do it, but I don't like to use it because it is a bit easy mode to do. No offense for people who are very good at it, who who really just can use it very, very well. I don't take anything against that, but um, yeah, it is a bit easy mode, in my opinion. But yeah, got scored on a penalty, which is something new. And uh, of course... Um, that's not something you will see every day, and uh, here I got myself a free kick, which um, yeah, I unfortunately miss, but uh, very nice save by his keeper. Here I'm looking for my uh, Arteta, which is not in the game, and then I decided with the uh, Fenpassi. I'm really not that good from the from the left side of this, or, or with a left-footed player only closer, but from this far out I'm not that good at it, so I would have preferred a right-footed player. but. Uh, his keeper makes a nice save up in the top corner and then I got myself a corner and yeah we will see this in slow motion I decided to check how far it actually is and you can see a very nice save by Fandasar who then breaks his neck off the post and on the corner I didn't get anything in the beginning but uh, his defender totally hammers down my uh, my player and uh, I got another penalty and uh, then here is something I have learned once you can just hold in the L B button and it will go straight in the middle no matter uh, almost no matter how much power you put on so me putting a little more than half I thought this would just go in when his keeper went away but blasted it over and uh, yeah then I then I learned from my mistakes of that but 5 no a missed penalty and uh, yeah we move on to the to the next game which should come here yes and as you can see he has a uh, 84 uh, attacks so I was kind of curious what he had going up there and yeah, inform Mario Gomez and inform Miroslav Klose, and I have problems playing against uh, German sides in general, or especially those two, because they seem to win everything in headers, and the inform players have an absolute amazing shot. So uh, this goal by Gomez, I will not take anything against. It was a very nice shot, but still, it is quite easy to make these goals. So it was a fairly easy game, or not easy game. Uh, even game he just uh, just had the upper hand on his finish but uh, he was a good player and uh, yeah here he got a bullshit free kick and 
A good player will put these in, and uh, he put Ribéry on it, who I'm not sure what his stats are in free kick, but people seem to use him a lot if they have him on their team. So I guess they're pretty high, and uh, he puts a nice free kick in again. So once again, I will not take anything away from the goal, other than that weren't a free kick. But um, yeah, what can you do? And then what would an episode be without me not conceding a goal from a corner? Um, so Robert Hood. In the 18th minute made it 3-0 and uh, that was a bit of a shocker for me but I, I managed to go 1-3 after 25 minutes which was kind of positive again I tried to do some tricks which fucked up a bit but I did get the ball inside the box which uh, which is always lovely so um, but yeah I also managed to go um, to 2-3 two, and uh, see here if it's one of those simple goals and uh, Balotelli puts these balls in. No, he don't. Uh, I thought he did. No. Van Persie puts these balls in with his right foot because he's a... I don't know. He's a beauty right footed player sometimes. He has a pretty good finisher with his right foot. Finesse shot. That was the word I was looking for earlier. And uh, then here I got through and Gareth Bale decided to head it on. And fortunately missed it. And then this dude hit me on the counter attack in the, and made it 4-2 made it in the stoppage time. Which was quite unfortunate. It could have uh, gone both ways there. So I could have scored for the free free if Gareth Bale would have done something else. But uh, no, that that weren't to be happening. So he made it 4-2 in the extra time. And again, it was a pretty even game. So um, good game to that guy. That was fairly entertaining to play. But uh, yeah, again, another loss. It's not something we're happy about. But then I went up against this dude. And uh, I felt when I saw his chemistry that now my, my luck is going to change. So, <clears throat> sorry. As you can see, his team here. He has some good players, but uh, none of them really in uh, the 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 real formation and from the same league and stuff. So a little chemistry, but not too much going. And uh, yeah, already after the kickoff, I made it one 0 and uh, with the, with Benner again, who I decided to play with because uh, he is a big goal scorer, and I know he will get a lot of hate, but I don't care. And uh, I felt uh, Van Persie needed a break, and then Balotelli here again shows his great finishing abilities and put it in for the 2-0 after 10 minutes, which is always lovely. And still in the first half, I got through here with David Bentley and uh, thought, why not chip it? It's the, the best solution in that situation. Uh, try 91 dink, maybe I should start using that as well. <laughs> I don't know. Let You guys should let me know if I should just be part of those three guys who have nothing to do with or just let them be <laughs> I don't know but yeah this dude uh, had this one chance or maybe he had more I don't know it, it definitely didn't show too much and then he made this mistake with his keeper and I decided to trick him this one I know how to do and I know it's a very easy one to do against the goalkeeper and I don't know why uh, goalkeepers can't get red cards because he's the last guy and he brought me down and it would have been a goal so it should have been a red card but uh, no but once again I actually score on a penalty uh, with Arteta puts it nicely in and uh, he is a lad, and I like that. This episode is actually a bit weird because I don't score any free kicks, but uh, we will we will let that be. But here, Balotelli got through and tricked his keeper in the goal instead of shooting the first time because he was too close and put it in again for the 5-1. And uh, I've come to realize something. Usually if I lose a game, uh, a lot of the times the next game I tend to be a little mad and just score goals against the dude. and kind of outplay him a little more than he deserved to. I'm not a big fan of winning by too much because I don't know why. There's just something wrong about it. I feel a bit weird doing so, but whatever. I managed to make it 7-1 just before, before time with Bentner again. And uh, then this is going to be the, the final game and thing to happen in this episode. But uh, I will upload one more today. So look uh, forward to that coming up very shortly. But other than that, please find the video up if you enjoyed. And I will thank you for watching and see you later. Bye-bye.